None of us are very good at life. We're all making mistakes and getting it wrong all the time. So when your protagonist Some is of just... us are better than others. Thank you. Uh, but the... <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm mostly nailing it. You're a mess. <laughs> After we'd done Matilda, we um, we were wanting to do something else. I had a feeling that Groundhog Day could be a really good thing to do. My memory of the first mention of it is, for some reason we're on the no, maybe you sent me a text that just said, I think our next one should be Groundhog Day, and in my memory. We hadn't really talked about a next one, it was just you presuming, <laughs> which was a pretty good assumption because uh, our first effort had gone very, very well. It's a romantic comedy which makes me cry every time I watch it. And I just think it's incredibly profound, the whole thing of uh, the, the message of uh, what it takes to live the best version of your life and the learning process for that and the sort of repeated opportunities. is just an emblem of mercy and hope in humanity. The other thing I got really excited by was the idea that it is that this Shakespearean idea that all the world's a stage and we're trapped in a, in a musical, we're trapped. And that's why the first 20 minutes are quite grating and they're kind of Pansitani until he starts changing his attitude to things. I don't know what people are expecting when they're like, what that 80s movie, the 90s movie with Bill Murray that's going to be a musical, but I know they're not expecting what they get. You're going to hate me talking about it in these terms because I don't want people to think it's not funny and entertaining and stuff, but it, it actually grapples with depression and pulling yourself out of really dark places and stuff, and it does that in, in a sort of mind-blowingly entertaining fashion. I mean, Phil is awful. I mean, he's not just a flawed person. He's a bit of a monster. I, he's very funny. He's the exaggerated he's, a, he's an absolutely exaggerated sort of version of a selfish, self-obsessed person who can't see other people for who they are. And of course, when you're doing a story about redemption, it's really important that your character isn't easily redeemed, otherwise you've got no drama. No, that's right. You really need to make it feel like it's kind of impossible this person ever could be redeemed. Yeah. And then, you're, then the interesting thing is how it happens. Yeah. The, the premise, you know, we hate watching people who are assholes it's just not true we, we're, we're perfectly happy watching those people especially if they're funny and especially or because we know where the story is going even if we've never seen Groundhog Day we know the reason we're watching this person is he's going to learn that everything he's doing is wrong and you have the catharsis of laughter and tears and of going yeah life is like that and if you get it right it, it can be an amazing experience watching a musical and if you get it wrong it's <laughs> it's just you want to break your head open I love the writing of it, I love the book, I love the um, music, lyrics, I love the performances, I, I love the uh, Chris Nightingale's work on the arrangement orchestrations as well, and all of those things that existed. I just wanted to bring it back, it's a very popular show, you're going to have a good time, and we're going to go on a journey that tells us something about life and how to live it. You're going to want to buy some merch. <laughs> <laughs>